Hello and welcome to Lucky. In this episode of Talkies, we'll be taking a look at So Long at the Fair. We'll meet a person who's driven nearly mad by a mysterious disappearance. The rest of this discussion contains spoilers, so if you'd like to skip past the spoiler section, you can just click here. Meet Vicky Barton. This pleasant person is in town in Paris, France, to visit the Universal Exposition of 1889. She's traveling with her brother, Johnny. Johnny, apparently, is also Vicky's legal guardian. And they only have each other to rely on. They arrive at their hotel and enjoy a few hours of frivolity on their first afternoon in Paris. Ah, but in the morning, everything changes completely. When Vicky goes to visit her brother, she discovers that he's disappeared. Not only has he vanished overnight, but so has his hotel room. Number 19. Our heroine, confused, turns to the hotel staff to make inquiries, but they're even more puzzled than she is. You see, they've never heard of her brother. They've never seen him. Because he doesn't exist. She arrived alone. Her signature is the only one in the guest register. They even take it out for her to examine. See? As for a non-existent brother's room, well, that space is simply a powder room, see? Everything is present and correct and just as it should be. Except that nothing is as it should be. Vicky fears that something terrible has happened and goes to the British consulate. She forces her way in and tries to explain what's happened. Only her story sounds quite strange. Is the story of the hotel staff reasonable? Yes. Does she have proof? No. Can she find anyone in Paris, apart from herself, who can say they've even seen her brother? No. Wait. Yes. Vicky remembers that she was talking to one of the hotel maids, Nina. Nina's sweetheart is part of the exposition, displaying a hot air balloon. While Vicky and Nina were talking, Johnny came into the room to escort Vicky out for a bite to eat. Nina then has seen Johnny in person. She'd be able to vouch for that at least. Vicky goes to the fairgrounds to find Nina, so that someone can confirm at least part of Vicky's story. But then, something goes wrong. There's a small explosion. And Vicky watches in horror as all the passengers in the balloon hurtle to the ground, killed instantly. She next goes to speak to the chief of the local station. Vicky and the chief return to the hotel to speak to the owner. But this doesn't help either. She insists that she came here with her brother and that he's disappeared. That is not all she says, monsieur. She says also that his room disappeared overnight. His bedroom, monsieur. <laughs> like that. Why do you think she would say this if it's not true? Perhaps because she's a little mad. That's why. I don't think she's mad. I think there's a much simpler explanation. All right, what is that? I think she has no money. So, she invents a story. How much money do you have? I don't really know, about 25 francs, I think. Mm. You see. Mm. Vicky's brother is her guardian, manage their money. So she's left stranded in Paris. The hotel owner agrees to send the penniless Vicky home by train. But when Vicky goes to her hotel room to get her key, she spots a note on the floor and tracks the sender down. Mr. Hathaway? Mm. Yes? Did you write this letter? I did. Do you know who I am? I bumped into you at the hotel the other evening. My name is Barton. Does that name mean anything to you? Well, you're his sister. You saw him? Yes. With me? Yes. How did you know he was my brother? No. What is this? How did you know? Well, I suppose I don't know, really. I see. Well, except that I saw him later that evening and borrowed 50 francs. I mentioned seeing you earlier and he told me who you were. You knew he was staying at the hotel? Yes. Did he happen to give you the number of his room? Yes. No doubt you've forgotten it. I wrote it down so I could send him back the 50 francs. I recall quite clearly it was number 19. Yes. So, Vicky has finally found the one person in Paris who can and will verify her story. Problem solved, hmm? Alas. No. Her brother is just as missing as ever. Vicky can't return to the hotel. She has no money. She doesn't have friends in Paris. Both the consulate representative and the police have been cordial but useless. But now she has an ally. And her ally has a plan. And do they finally discover Johnny's whereabouts? Fortunately. Or unfortunately, they do. Oh, he's not dead. But there's only a remote chance of him surviving what's happened to him. Still, Vicky and Hathaway live in hope because that's the only thing left to do. And that's how the movie ends, with a long night and a long wait for, hopefully, good news in the morning. Vicky was a sympathetic character, if a bit weepy, but both her disorientation and stubbornness were understandable, as well as both her vulnerability and grit. Hathaway was a standout character for both his selflessness and courage, and for taking action immediately. He succeeds in helping Vicky find out what happened to her brother. But the real standout character was the owner of the hotel, Madame Hervé. She was marvelously sinister. 
There were several scenes of interest, including the scene featuring the hot air balloon disaster and the one where Vicky finds Hathaway. Madame Merve, the hotel owner, of course, has some great lines. But for Vicky, we'd say the most memorable lines come during her luckless meeting with the police chief. You know that she's been to the British consulate. Of course. I gave her the address myself. Ah, oh, the hotel register. Monsieur Barton. Barton. Your brother's name isn't here. I know that. I told you he'd forgotten to sign it. Mm-hmm. Now, listen to me. Perhaps the best thing is for you to go home to England. Possibly your brother will be there when you arrive. You don't believe me. Nobody believes me. But I shall go on until I find him. Understand. On a side note, the movie was evidently based on a curious piece that appeared in a 19th century newspaper. The Salt Lake Herald posted in November 1897 an apparent dispatch from Paris, France by one Nancy V. McClelland, entitled The Mystery of Paris, Remarkable Disappearance of an American Woman from a French Hotel. So long that the fair follows the basic thread of the newspaper feature changing only a detail here and there, so long that the fair wasn't even the first movie to feature this particular storyline. The producers of Perfecto Spuren or cover tracks released in 1938, and the producer George W. Weeks behind the 1932 release Midnight Warning evidently also found the story intriguing. On a casting side note, actor Honor Blackman appears in So Long at the Fair in a minor role. She went on to be very busy in the 1960s as the co-lead in The Avengers. Also, in a few years' time, David David Tomlinson, who plays Vicky's brother, Johnny Barton, would become very well known for playing the role of a staid banker, Mr. Banks, in a fantasy film about a magical nanny, Mary Poppins. Finally, on a thematic side note, other classic films featuring a mystery about a person who vanishes include Phantom Lady, The Lady Vanishes, and Dangerous Crossing. The Alfred Hitchcock Presents episode, Into Thin Air, might also be of interest, as it follows essentially the same storyline as So Long at the Fair. So. That's so long at the fair. What did you think of this movie? Did you have any theories early on which might have explained the disappearance? And was the ending what you expected it to be or not? Feel free to let us know in the comment section. Coming up, we'll be back with an invitation as we cordially welcome viewers to the next movie round. See you there.